The COVID-19 global pandemic is something that is new to all of us. We've never dealt with a global pandemic of this nature before. And, you know, I think that there is a sense of disbelief. There is a desire, if you will, to kind of downplay the severity of the, the pandemic. And part of that may be due to ignorance. Part of it may be due to cognitive dissonance. But either way, it doesn't matter. You have to make sure that you take all the precautions to not just protect yourself, but others. That means staying the fuck home but regardless if you know you think that maybe this is just being blown out of proportion it's a story that's being s sensationalized by the media if you have this sort of mentality you're gonna get us all killed if i get corona i get corona at the end of the day i'm not gonna let it stop me from partying you know i've been waiting we've been waiting for miami spring break for a while about two months we've had this trip planned two three months so we're just not even having a good time Whatever happens, happens. Like, it's really messing up with my spring break. What is there to do here other than go to the bars or the beach and they're closing all of it? It's really messing up. I think they're blowing it way out of proportion. I think it's doing way too much. Doing us bad. We need a refund. This virus ain't that serious. It's serious. It's more serious things out there like hunger and poverty. And we need to address yes, that. Yeah, I mean, we planned this a long time ago and it was kind of up in the air if we still go. But like, we're here. I just turned 21 this year, so I'm here to party. So it's kind of disappointing. But we're just making the most of it. We met these other people in our little Airbnb spot. So we're just hanging out with them and trying to get drunk before everything closes. <laughs> I mean, it sucks, but we're going to make the best of we're it. Enjoying our we're enjoying ourselves. Now. It sucks. And I'm from New Orleans, so this really sucks. However, we're going to enjoy ourselves. We're having day parties all day. It's my birthday, St. Patrick's Day. Turn up. We're just trying to roll with the boy. We're just living for the moment. We're just going for, we're just going to do what happens, when it happens. When stuff closes, we're going to do it when it closes. But, uh. I shouldn't be touching my face. <laughs> Listen, that video made me so, so depressed. <laughs> Like, it, it didn't make me angry. It, it, it just, it made me feel like, okay, how many people like this are still out there who are this careless, this idiotic? I mean, what the fuck are you doing? You care that much about partying that you're going to expose everyone to COVID-19? First of all, um, let me just say that even if you don't care about getting COVID-19 yourself, even if you're exposed to it and you think you're fine, this is asymptomatic. So you could be exposed to it and then therefore expose other people thinking you're fine, but expose them unknowingly, people who are vulnerable, the elderly, individuals who are um, immunocompromised. And then what's going to happen? You're going to get them sick. And it's not just that you should, you know... Um, care about other people, but this is also very serious for young people as well. Because even if it's the case that older people are more vulnerable statistically than young people, that doesn't mean that this doesn't pose a threat to young people. In fact, we're finding out this is very serious even if you are young and healthy. Because as The Hill reports, CDC analysis shows coronavirus poses serious risk for younger people. So let's just pause for a moment and reflect on that. CDC analysis shows coronavirus poses serious risk for younger people. So that means that it doesn't matter if you're healthy currently. It doesn't matter if you're not immunocompromised. Uh, it doesn't matter if, you know, you don't have anyone in your life that you could potentially expose. You should be responsible enough to take the proper precautions and stay the fuck home. Because if you don't care about anyone else, you should at least care about yourself because this is serious. Now, as Reed Wilson of The Hill explains, a new CDC analysis of more than 2,400 cases of COVID-19 that have occurred in the United States in the last month shows that at least one in seven and perhaps as many as one in five people between the ages of 20 and 44 who contract the virus require hospitalization, a level exponentially higher than the hospitalization rates for influenza. Between 2% and 4% of people that young are admitted to intensive care units. The fatality 
mortality rate is low, only 0.1% to 0.2%, but it is about two times higher than a bad flu season. Health outcomes are much worse among those who are older and those who have underlying health conditions. The early estimates show that a fifth to a third of those between the ages of 45 and 65 who contract the disease are hospitalized. Among those over 75 years old, hospitalization estimates range from 30% to more than 70%. Among the oldest cohort, those over the age of 85, somewhere between 10% and a quarter of all patients die. The data show adults over the age of 65 account for 80% of the deaths associated with the coronavirus. But younger Americans are contracting the virus at the same rates as those who are older. The initial round of data actually found more people between the ages of 20 and 44 who landed in the hospital than those over the age of 75 who wound up in treatment, even though mortality rates were lower for the younger set. Quote, lots of young people are getting hospitalized, a lot more than we're messaging. And yes, maybe you don't die, but living with a damaged lung or damaged organ is not a good outcome, said Prabhjahat Singh, a physician and health systems expert at Mount Sinai Health System and the Icon School of Medicine. So do you understand that being stupid, being careless can affect you for the rest of your life? Because if you get hospitalized and you end up surviving coronavirus, this can still do long-term damage to your health. Why would you want that? Why would you want that for anyone else? You shouldn't. So I know that these people are in that video are young and naive, and I know that it's not just young people with this attitude. I talked about a video where Devin Nunes, a member of Congress, went on Fox News and encouraged people to go to restaurants because since everyone is self-quarantining, you can get right in. We have to be responsible. We have to act like adults. This is new to all of us, right? And even though this is something that we can't see, that doesn't mean it's any less of a threat, right? You can be exposed by leaving your home and in turn affect hundreds of people potentially if you are not responsible enough. So I don't care if you don't care about yourself or other people. At least just have the courtesy to be a decent human being and not, not do things like this, not expose yourself. I get it, right? It's springtime, spring break is here, you want to go outside, you want to go have fun, but this is serious. This is serious, and I'm glad that seemingly Trump's administration is taking it serious. It took the stock market to crash for that to happen, but nonetheless, like you've got to understand there's a good reason why non-essential businesses are shutting down. There's a good reason why the CDC is telling all of us to stay home. It's because coronavirus is here and the United States is uniquely unable to deal with this. So we see what's happening in Italy. I have a video on that. But it could be worse here because of how unprepared we are. We lack the readiness. We don't have the healthcare system that other countries have. So we're not capable of dealing with this. And it's going to be bad if we don't put a cap on it. If we don't, you know, lower the curve. So people have got to wake up and they can't be careless. Like this is the beginning of quarantine. We don't know how long this will last. Maybe two weeks, maybe a month. This could last as long as um, spring 2021, regardless if we want to be healthy, if we want people to actually not get sick from this, be fucking responsible and just stay the fuck home. Don't be stupid.